Can you remember a day at work when you were so engaged in what you were doing that the day just flew by? I did a PhD examining how our work environment contributes to employee engagement. And in a series of videos, I'm going to be sharing with you what I learned. In my first video, I'm going to be talking about what are the factors in the job that contribute to employee engagement. But what is this thing called employee engagement and why is it important? Employee engagement consists of three elements. It's when you really love what you're doing and you put your heart into it. When it intellectually stimulates you so you rationally think this job is really great and it'd take a lot for me to leave. And as a result of those two things we exert extra discretionary effort because we're so engaged in what we're doing. That's how I've defined engagement. So why should you care about it? Well, research from Gallup shows us that many people in organisations are disengaged. And this represents a huge invisible cost because people either quit the company, and that represents a cost as we find someone new to retrain, or they quit and stay, which means they're at work but they're not giving their best. So it's worthy to understand more about what are the conditions that lead to employee engagement. I'm going to talk through the five things that most impact upon employee engagement at work. And the first is challenge. We love having really nutty problems to solve. They really get our brains ticking. We pull on all our existing knowledge and we seek knowledge from elsewhere, perhaps from another person or perhaps from Google as we try to get the problem solved. Closely related to challenge is also learning. It will surprise few people that engaged people love to learn. Now learning can come you know, when you're working on your own and you're thinking about a problem it can come from when you're having a conversation or when you've been working on a really nutty problem all day. It might come in the morning because your brain's been unconsciously working on the problem overnight. But it come, can come in many, many formats. The third finding in my research was about the importance of freedom, about the importance of autonomy, of being able to decide when and how you do your work. Uh, it could be about the direction you choose, it could be about uh, personalizing a solution and there's an exception to this and that is for people who are really new and inexperienced who recognize that they need much more closer guidance um, until they feel they get their feet under the table metaphorically speaking so we've looked at challenge we looked at learning we looked at autonomy and then there's achievement now we all have different jobs and depending upon your job, there's going to be different moments when you can tick off something on the to-do list or write done on that Excel sheet where your project management is saying status is completed. Now these moments can pass fleetingly in the busy, busy day, but they are little moments to be celebrated because a sense of achievement makes us feel, yes, we're on the right track. And related to achievement is our fifth characteristic, which is recognition. And this is when you've achieved something and it's gone well, and if you're a leader, it's really important that you don't miss these moments in the busy, busy of day life. Because it doesn't matter how senior you are, we all like to be recognized. So those are the five things, challenge, learning, autonomy, achievement, and recognition. And I'll close that video now and look forward to chatting to you about what drives employee engagement in teams in our next conversation.